Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support, and in this video, I am in Corel X6, Corel Draw that is, and I'm going to demonstrate how to quickly add and remove a stroke, and also add and remove a fill within a vector image. Uh, I've put a simple graphic here on the page, and uh, just to demonstrate uh, using uh, the way I would go about quickly adding a stroke or or releasing a stroke, meaning to get rid of the outline that's around the object. Um, to do that, I'm going to show you uh, the quick way. And the quick way is to, uh, first off, you need to add a color palette over here to your right. We use the RGB color palette, uh, usually with uh, sublimation. So if you don't see this color palette over here, go to Windows, and then Color Palette, and then uh, right click on, on your, I'm sorry, left click on your RGB palette. Okay, uh, you'll see a green check mark there, and uh, that'll add it over here to the right. Um, and so, what we want to do now is, with the color palette selected, uh, or actually over to our right where we can select a color uh, that we want, uh, this gives us some options. So, let's get over here to the pick tool just so I can show you how to grab this object. All right, so our pick tool, again, is our commonly used tool in Corel. And uh, what we can do with that is select objects within a graphic. Uh, so we're going to select the circle. And within that circle, we have an outline that is red, and we have a fill that is black. And an outline is also called a stroke. Um, so if I want to get rid of the stroke, what I would do with my color palette here is I'd come up here to this X. And simply what this X means is none. And depending on whether you right click or left click would depend on whether or not you um, uh, release the stroke or the, or the outline. So to right click would be to get rid of the stroke. Okay, that means none. It's gone away. Um, to add the stroke back, let's say we want a, a stroke of a different color, we could just right click and the stroke will come back. We can't see it very well because we have this black here with the fill, so uh, if we want to get rid of the black, we can see the stroke. Uh, we're going to left click on the none, meaning the black X up here, and the fill goes away. And we can see that we've added a green stroke here. So just to go over it one more time, uh, if I want this circle to be something of a different color, I would just add the color by clicking, left clicking on one of the colors here and we'll just left click on this purple and uh, if I want to get rid of the stroke I'm going to right click, stroke's gone and if I want to add a stroke I would right click and add the stroke back. If I don't like the size of this stroke I can double click here with my uh, pen tool right here where you see at the bottom right you can see your fill and your stroke and then drop down this width and this is the outline pen and change the actual stroke points by selecting one of these and uh, let's go ahead and change the color while we're in here if we want this is another place we can change the color and then uh, I would do that by just right clicking and then uh, click OK and now I have a three point outline um, around this circle that is red and uh, that's how we can change the stroke size. So again if you have any questions or concerns or comments you want to add on this uh, tutorial feel free to give me a call. My name is Vicki. I'm in the support department and uh, stay tuned for more videos on some basic tools within Corel, Ill Illustrator and the Photoshop versions um, and this being Corel 6, the uh, demonstration I have here would work with some of the earlier versions of Corel as well uh, that we use here at Condi for your sublimation purposes. Thank you, as always. Uh, thank you for your time.